Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today's topic, do you monitor what your kids do online? A review of KidLogger. Do you trust your kids to responsibly use a phone, tablet, or computer at all times without supervision? Do you trust them to responsibly use the internet with no restrictions? If you're like most parents I talk to, you answered no to one or both of those questions. Did you? If so, that means that you're interested in parental controls and monitoring. KidLogger is monitoring software with some parental controls. In this review, I'll tell you how KidLogger can help you protect your kids online. The threats. When kids have their own devices, especially those with internet access, there's a good chance that they'll try to use them in ways that are against your wishes or are outright dangerous. Here are just a few of the challenges you face. One, your kids may visit websites that contain malware that could harm their device or even other connected devices. Two, your kids may access illegal content, such as pirated music and movies and illegal forms of porn. Three, your kids may communicate with people who mean them harm, such as cyberbullies and internet predators. Four, your kids may use apps that you don't approve of. Five, your kids may view websites, images, videos, and other content that you don't approve of, such as porn. Six, your kids may send and receive messages that you don't approve of, such as sexual or hateful messages. Seven, your kids may spend more time using their devices than you want them to. Eight, your kids may use their devices without your supervision, whether at home or outside of it. And nine, the parental controls built into devices and apps may not limit your kids as much as you would like. For these reasons, you should consider parental monitoring software, such as KidLogger. How to protect your kids. KidLogger is better described as monitoring software than parental control software because it doesn't offer nearly as many controls as other parental control software. There is a free version of KidLogger, but most of the features that I'll cover here are only in the paid versions. Later, I'll explain what's missing from the free version and the pricing for the paid versions. And then a few questions and answers related to the KidLogger software. One, what devices does KidLogger work with? It works on Windows, Android, and Mac, though it does more on Android than Windows or Mac. It is not available for iPhone or iPad. For those Apple devices, you'll need to use iOS's Screen Time, or Kaspersky Safe Kids, or Norton Family Premiere, or some other parental control software. And I have links to all of those at defendingdigital.com. Two, what apps can KidLogger monitor or control? On Windows and Mac, you can monitor, but not block, the use of installed software. On Android, you can monitor and block the use of installed apps. You should pay special attention to apps related to social media, messaging, and dating. It's important to note that when your kid installs an app, it will be allowed until you block it. So I recommend that you use the parental controls built into Android to prevent your child from installing apps. If you choose to allow your kid to install apps, you want to keep an eye on new app installations so that you can block any that you don't approve of. For devices that don't run Android, you'll need to use Kaspersky Safe Kids, Norton Family Premier, or some other parental control software. Three, will KidLogger work outside my home network? Yes, the software runs locally on the device, monitoring regardless of the network that's used, whether your kids are on your home Wi-Fi, someone else's Wi-Fi, or cellular data. Four, how granularly can KidLogger filter content? It does not filter content. It simply records what websites your child visits. You can set keywords and URLs for it to watch for, and it will notify you if your child accesses them. You can also have it take a screenshot periodically, or if your child types in a word or phrase that you specify. Five, what website categories can KidLogger filter? Again, like the previous question, uh, it does not filter any content, it just records what they're doing online. Six, how will I monitor my kid's activity with KidLogger? You log into your KidLogger online account from any browser on any device. You can also set up email notifications. And on Windows or Mac, you can also view the log files that are stored locally on the computer. And I have a few screenshots that show what that looks like in the blog post that goes along with this episode at defendingdigital.com. Seven, does KidLogger use a whitelist or a blacklist? So a couple definitions, and you can find these and other definitions in the glossary at defendingdigital.com slash glossary. There's a, a whitelist is a list of approved items. So a system that uses a whitelist blocks all of the items that are not on the whitelist. The opposite is a blacklist. That's a list of disapproved items. So a system that uses a blacklist allows all the items that are not on the blacklist. And it's the latter of these, the blacklist approach that KidLogger uses for apps. Eight, does KidLogger control screen time? How specifically? It does, but only on Android. 
There you can set the amount of time that the device can be used on weekdays and weekend days. You can also set a start and end time for school time. And during that time frame, only apps that you specify may be used. Then there's also something they call bedtime, uh, and you can set that and then no apps are allowed during that time. Nine, what browsers does KidLogger work with? It works with Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and Internet Explorer. You don't want your kids to be tempted to use a different browser, so I recommend that you uninstall any browsers other than those that are supported. To prevent your child from installing other browsers, use the parental controls built into Android to prevent your child from installing apps, and then have them use a non-administrator user account on Windows and Mac. 10. Can KidLogger filter HTTPS traffic? No, it doesn't filter content. It simply records what websites your child visits, as I covered in question four. 11. Can KidLogger track my kid's location? Yes, on Android, it records movements using GPS, Wi-Fi, and cellular towers, and then it displays locations on a map in the parental web portal. 12. How can I manage the settings of KidLogger? You can configure some settings within the software and you install it on a device. And then you can configure some of the same settings plus other settings from your KidLogger online account, which you can access from any browser on any device. 13. How frequently is KidLogger updated? I checked the release notes for the Windows and Mac software and saw that the software is updated a few times a year. I couldn't find how frequently the Android version is updated. 14. How easily can my kid get around KidLogger? On Windows, Mac, and Android, you set a password for the program, which is required to change its settings or delete it. And for Android, there are some additional steps that you can take to prevent your kid from stopping or uninstalling the app. And uh, those are available at kidlogger.net. I've got a link from the blog post that goes along this episode, which you can find at defendingdigital.com. To ensure that web browsing is monitored, as I mentioned earlier, use only the browsers that KidLogger supports and uninstall or prevent the use of others. Uh, to prevent your child from installing other browsers, use the parental controls built into Android. Uh, to prevent your child from installing apps, and then if they're on Windows and Mac, have them use a non-administrator user account. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, when your kid installs an Android app, it will be allowed until you forbid it, depending on your settings. Um, so I recommend that you use the parental controls built into Android to prevent your child from installing apps. If you do choose to allow them to install apps, you want to make sure that you keep an eye on any new app installations so that you can block any that you don't approve of. 15. How many devices or accounts does KidLogger cover? The free and standard plans monitor up to five devices. The professional plan monitors up to 10 devices. And I'll tell you more about the pricing in a couple minutes. 16, what else do I need to know about KidLogger? There are a few other miscellaneous things I'd like you to know about the software. Uh, it's really a key logger, which is software that monitors everything typed on the device. So it will record what's typed, even if it's into software that KidLogger key logger doesn't specifically list as software that it monitors. Uh, it can even record text that's copied into the clipboard so if your child does a copy and paste, it can capture that as well. Now, because it's a keylogger, there is a chance that your security software, your, your anti-malware or antivirus software, will flag it as malware. Uh, and that's because keyloggers can be abused and used for secretly spying on people. Now, keylogger is not intended to be used this way. It's really meant for parents to monitor their kids with their kids knowing about it. So if your security software flags keylogger, you'll need to mark it as safe or tell the security software to ignore it. Because it's a keylogger, KidLogger can record text chats in a variety of messengers, such as Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and Skype. It can also copy the pictures from a device into the parental web portal for you to view. It can also record audio using a device's microphone. It can record incoming and outgoing phone calls uh, and can tell you the most often used contacts. It can also record audio Skype calls. KidLogger stores data in your KidLogger.net account, but according to the company, they don't share that information with any third parties. The free version of the software is open source, meaning that anyone can look at its code to see how it works. So presumably, if it were doing anything suspicious, people would notice and report it. The KidLogger software that you install on Windows, Mac, or Android uses a pretty dated design, even though the software itself isn't old. The parental web portal, kidlogger.net, looks more modern, but it's not the most usable. KidLogger is developed by Safe JKA SRL, which is headquartered in the Republic of Moldova. The website is available in 11 languages. Uh, the English translation of the website has many spelling and grammar errors. 17. What does KidLogger cost? 
There is a free Kedlogger plan and two paid plans. The free plan is limited to five devices, nine days of logging, and nine megabytes of storage. The standard plan, which is $9 for three months, $9 per quarter, uh, is limited to five devices, 30 days of logging, and 100 megabytes of storage. And then the professional plan, which is $29 per quarter, per three months, is limited to 10 devices, 60 days of logging, and 500 megabytes of storage. The free plan is quite limited in functionality. It really only lets you view the activity log and up to 10 screenshots per day. Uh, the paid plans add in the following features. Web history, time limits, a record of text that's typed or copied, unlimited screenshots, a record of opened files and folders, a record of messenger conversations, record of software that's used and the ability to block software, record of audio, location tracking and a map, and email reports. And there is a, a full list of differences and comparison available at kidlogger.net. Um, I've got links to those in the blog post that goes along with this episode at defendingdigital.com. Who is Kidlogger best for? It's most useful if your kids use Android phones and tablets. Because it does not filter the web uh, and it also does not block software on Windows or Mac, and it's not available for iPhones and iPads, it's really not very helpful if your kids use any of those. Uh, in those cases, you probably want more full-featured parental controls, such as Kaspersky Safe Kids, Norton Family Premier, or other parental control software. And I have uh, information on those at DefendingDigital.com. I've also done episodes uh, of this podcast on those topics. And if your kids only use Android, you would probably still be happier using one of those options rather than KidLogger. What you should do. 1. Define what you want parental control and internet filtering software to do. Start with what you've learned in this review. Two, decide if KidLogger will work for you and your kids. Three, if you choose KidLogger, install and configure it. As you do, consider my advice throughout this review. Four, talk to your kids about the settings you configure. Talk when you first set up KidLogger, as well as regularly after that. Technology is no substitute for parenting. And five, regularly evaluate how well the software is working for your family. Adjust the software and your settings as necessary. If you want to learn more about KidLogger, uh, you can go to defendingdigital.com slash go slash KidLogger, and that's spelled K-I-D-L-O-G-G-R. And you can learn more about internet security, parental controls, internet filtering at defendingdigital.com. And if you are enjoying this podcast, I would love it if you would just open up whatever site or app you're using to listen to this podcast and find the place where you can rate it and uh, give it a high rating and write a nice review if you are uh, so inclined. And I would also love it if you would spread the word, uh, tell others who are interested in digital parenting and internet safety about Defending Digital, the podcast, the website. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.